Hi, it's Miss Rivka again. And I'm sitting in the back of my house in Brooklyn. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about how we gather information. How do you come to know about things? I mean, when you think about it, you could find out about things in books. You could look online. You could ask your mom and dad about things. But the most important way that you learn about the world is actually from yourself, from your own body, from your five senses. You remember what your five senses are? Seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and touching. All day, every day from the moment you were born, your body was constantly learning about the world from your five senses. And in today's lesson, we're gonna use our five senses to observe an object, gather some information, and present it back. In fact, that's the very first step of research. Today I brought with me my Echeveria plant. This plant has been sitting on my desk for many, many years. I can look at the Echeveria plant with my eyes. I can smell it with my nose. I could even taste it with my tongue. I could feel it with my fingertips. Maybe I could even hear it. And by doing that, I'm gathering a lot of tiny details about this plant. After we do some observation of my Echeveria plant, you're gonna choose your own object or your own living thing from your house to observe. And you're gonna use your five senses to gather information about your object. Let's start. When I begin to do an observation, the first thing I like to do is position the object in front of me in a way where I can be completely mindful of it. That's why I chose to come to my backyard. And I look very carefully with my eyes. I look this way, and this way, and even this way. I look all around the object so that every single part of the object I can see with my eyes. What are some of the things I see? I see that my plant is made up of a lot of colors. There's a kind of peach color and a greenish color and a yellow color. I see that it's inside of a, a plant pot and the pot is kind of taupe colored. I also see that the shape of the leaves of my Echeveria plant is very unusual, and they have these little tiny points on the end. I also see that the leaves of the plant are bigger on the outside, and then they get smaller and smaller as they're bunched into the center. I also see with my eyes that it's not actually planted in dirt. It's planted in these little tiny stones that hold water. What if I were to use my nose to smell my plant? When I observe with my nose, I take a very deep breath in so I can get all of the scent. My plant smells earthy and also a little sharp. It kind of reminds me of a delicious salad. Now I'm going to use my fingers to touch my plants. In order to sensitize my fingers, I'm going to rub them on my sweater. 
getting all of my fingertips ready for touching. And then I'm going to feel the leaves of my plant. Ooh, they're very smooth and rubbery. Ooh, they're very sharp on the tips. They almost poke me. My plant pot is very smooth. Kind of tickles. Now I'm wondering, do you think I could actually use my ears to hear this plant? In order to hear, sometimes it's better to close your eyes. My plant isn't making any noise. <laughs> and what about tasting? Well, first of all, before ever tasting any plant, you need to know if it's safe. I happen to know an Echeveria plant is not poisonous for humans, so I'm going to be very brave and I'm going to taste my plant. My plant doesn't really taste like anything. It feels to my tongue like a piece of plastic. So now I've used my eyes, my nose, my ears, my mouth, and my fingers to observe my plant. And I'm going to gather all of that information into my journal to collect what I have observed. Now you're going to choose an object somewhere in your house and you're going to do a very deep observation. And that is your first step of learning how to research just by using your body.